Good evening. What's up, y'all? I hope you are ready for some Wednesday night blood bowl. For some blood. Um, Very yes. exciting. We're, so we're we're gonna do a little mini tournament. Uh, not all of the teams are ready. Yeah, but uh, we are. We will have the teams ready in time to do they, one match a week. Yeah, the teams should be coming together slowly, and we'll be doing one match a week for the next. I don't know, quite a bit. If you want to see what teams are going to be participating. We have most of them built, not all of them yet, but if you do exclamation mark teams in chat, it will display some URLs to some uh, Google Docs for all the team sheets. Uh, we have the standings, so there's a challenge page I made. It's going to be two groups of four doing a group stage, so round robin group stage. That's going to be 12 total matches for the, the group stages, and then uh, taking top two from each group with uh, tiebreakers that actually work as opposed to keyboards because there, there might be some ties, right? Yeah. And some like points differential and stuff we can yeah. go off, so... It'll take just probably go, strictly top probably two. You probably go like TDs, the casualties, the so on and so on. So. Yeah. So we're not we're not counting like 4K galleries. Uh, no. I did. Uh, I saw there was 3D printed bleachers that you can get oh, where awesome. you can and there's like there's like 3D printed spectators and stuff too yeah. that I could get. Uh, we sick. did 3D print a ball, so this way the ball ball's gonna be more visible on the board. And then I I did paint these orc spaces bright colors as well, so they're gonna be always visible. Um, so we're not like confusing who's. Oh, you you guys will be able to tell much more easily. What yeah. minis or what? Um, we are going to. We're not going to be tracking star player points, but we're going to be doing random level ups after each game. So yeah. one player on the team is going to get a level up of a random skill. Yeah. And so yeah. Right. Um, and uh, in sevens, you can, uh, according to the book, you can choose one player to get a primary skill, or you can random a player and random a secondary skill. Um, but there's also a retirement function that makes players retire uh if you play them enough and we're not we're so we're for, foregoing all of those rules and we're just going to random a player and random a primary skill onto them because we think that kind of balances out since teams only have three games played before they move to the top eight it won't be like uh there there there, there won't be too many skills so you can see my beautifully painted works right now there you go there you go <laughs> incredible i do have my lizard men here I was told by Nathan these were fine. These are fine. These are totally fine for uh, tabletop. So. so I did paint these um, this week. So yeah, yeah that's a good angle. The good, the good distance. <laughs> You're not getting too they're much. Fine. So they're fine. The orcs are much worse than those, but I did paint those like six years ago. Um. Okay. So our first match is going to be nobility versus orcs. This is the uh, bog standard orcs. Um, you have to actually, so these, there's not an orc team box for those orcs anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, the black orcs that come in the box are the orc team that's, like, sold now. You have to, like, Forge World or Web Store exclusive order the orc team box. That's wild. Yeah. Um, you can, you can find them. Like, they're not, they're not non-existent, but, but yeah, they, they, uh, um, I, I, so, the same, it's the same thing with the basic human team. I think it was because they wanted to give teams more identity. Because mm -hmm. um, as it is, orcs and humans were like basically the same team, right. sort of. Yeah. You know, so. They followed that formula. Yeah. Um, we. So there's nothing we have to do for pre match, right? We just go to. Uh, we just so turn we, who's kicking off. We roll for fan factor. Okay. Um, uh, we, every team has one dedicated fan. Um, and so uh, we roll a d6. Sorry, it's a d3, and add your fan and your your fans. So it's just a d3 off. So I've got one. You've got one. So we're 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 even on fan factor. Okay. That matters for the kickoff. There's like two kickoff results that matter for fan factor. Uh, then we got to do weather. Okay. So one die each. Five and six. Uh, five and one is uh, uh six. six, which is perfect blood bowl weather. Okay. Um, so we don't have to worry about the pouring rain or anything else that would make it more difficult for us to score. Um, and then we just determine who goes first by dicing off. So I've got a five, you've got a five. Uh, Alright, your choice. I will kick. You will kick. Okay. Alright. Um, so I have an extra retainer that's going to be on the bench. I have a reroll. So I yeah. will have a reroll for each half, which is pretty good. Which is very good. Fudgeoneer yeah. is the uh, dedicated fan for Lizard Ben. And <laughs> Mertani is the necromantic fan. Alright. Cool. Um, that is pretty much all the... I don't know if there's anything else we have to go over Cutter before we start. Fly. That's pretty much it. We're playing um, sevens. Yeah, we're playing sevens, so... Uh, uh, my mark team is uh, four blitzers and three linemen. Yeah, um, and just for the and start of this, my nobility team is two blitzers, two bodyguards, and four retainers. 
ones on the bench. So, all right. Well, one of the method, one of the things that we discussed was doing package of skills, but I felt like our teams would get kind of homogenous if we did that. So yeah, and they'd be like, okay, no, this guy has block dodge. This guy has leader. Blah, yeah, blah, blah, yeah, blah. yeah. So um, I think the random skills are are much funnier in the long run. So. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm so I set up. Oh, you set oh up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I set up first because I'm defensive. Yeah, 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 go ahead, go ahead. All right. But you're gonna be taking the first turn. Let's do that. Or let's do that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'll set up like this. Okay, retainers on the flanks, bodyguards. Blitzers retainer in the middle. It was a it's a D eight and a D D eight and six. D six. Yeah. And if it goes past here, then if it if you if it, if it goes past scatters here, past this, okay. that's a touchback. Okay. If it scatters off the sides, that's a touchback. If it scatters back out of this, it's a touchback. So. All right. So I'm I'm. This is D eight D six, and then we're on the kickoff table. So three five. So that way five. All right. One, two, three, four, five to there. And then 2d6 on the kickoff table. Yep. Three. Uh, all right, that is time out. If the Kings team turn markers on four, five, or six for the half, both coaches move their turn marker back one space. Otherwise, both coaches move the turn marker forward one space. No, so we just... We lose, we lose a turn Just there. like that. Yep. Okay. Maybe we'll gain it back. Who knows? Okay, now the ball lands. The ball's going to scatter d8. Five. Five. Um, that right way. there. All right, that's a fairly decent scatter for you. All right, so it's my turn two. Uh, turn the, the refs, the mismanagement of the refs has caused the clock to run out. Um, uh, all right, well, you're not, like... Uh, I guess we'll... we'll Blitz one singular orc. Um, we'll move one, two, three, four, five, six. Move the bodyguard up. We'll move the retainer. One, two, three, four, five, six to there. All right, this will be the Blitz. Uh, the Blitzer's coming in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Blitzer has seven movements. So he's going to hit the orc on seven. Um, one assist, so two dice here. Uh, splash, splash. Okay. And I'll throw him back right there. I am not going to follow. No breaks. Um, now, do I... Do I go for it to dodge out? So that way you only get one hit. Plus the blitz next turn. Yeah, we'll go for it. So, uh, go for it is a 2+. plus. He's got it. And then dodge is a 3+. plus. He falls over. So All right. That'll end my turn. He's no break. Fine. All right, let's go. Here's where we can actually play hour long blitz games, yeah. I think. <laughs> we've, I, think oh, yeah. we've, we think we've gotten there. All right, so this guy's going to stand up and move to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'd have to like push it to blitz one of those guys twice. Not ideal. Uh, what are these models? Uh, retainer, blitzer, bodyguard, retainer. So all three. Uh, my whole team is three strengths. Your whole team is three strengths. Yeah. It makes the math really easy. It makes the assist plus blocking math really, really easy. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just going to get some guys down there. I think I probably do go for a push, push, blitz. I do have a reroll. This half's already almost over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit this dude. Okay. That's two dice, so one assist. Sploosh. Is this a fend guy? It is a fend guy. Okay. I am offended you didn't remember that. I, I asked if it's a fend guy. I assumed it was a fend guy. I know all your team is really annoying to throw blocks on. Six. Does not break. Uh, it is not a snotling. One, two, three. These guys are only five movements, so. 
I'm just gonna stand by some downed guys. Okay. Go there. Blood Bowl! Oh, that's yeah. very exciting. Alright, so... This guy... Retainer? Send, yeah. Okay, this guy is a bodyguard? Yeah, uh, Blitzer. Or a so he block. does have block? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Push. Okay. Two plus. Okay. Blitz. One, two, three, four, five, six. Push. Two plus. Got it. Push to hit. <laughs> That's. I could. I'll, I'll just go ahead and raise it. Okay. We're using it. Okay. We're good. Yeah. We're hidden. Splash. I'm still there. I will fend. And I cannot follow. No break. Okay. That is my turn. Alright, my turn three. Um. Uh, if I stand this guy up, he's in danger of getting crowd Isn't that, Yeah, smashed into the crowd. Um, but I th maybe I'm actually fine with that, because that would, that would take like your blitz to do that, and that would free up a lot of other more important things. Um, I don't know if I want to get interact with the ball. I guess I'll stand up this blitzer. He's relatively safe because of block. I guess I'll stand up this retainer. Um, I don't think I want to do anything with that bodyguard yet. Uh... I want to throw a blitz. I suppose I could, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm not crazy about that, three, four, five, six, I'm not crazy about that. All right, I'm going to go one, two to here. I guess this will be my blitz. I'll go one, blitz the blitz around two. Splash him. Splash him that way. I am not going to follow. No break. So that was two, three, four, five, six to there. This will at least be in the way. One, two, three, four, five. The blitzer needs a his agility three up, so he needs a three to pick up the ball. He's got it. Um, so he is going to move to there. I don't actually know if I want to move up. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, it's two, like push, three, push. four, five, six. Push, push. I, th I think that's fine. I, okay, I'll definitely stand up with this... Uh, Fend, and then we'll throw the one die block down here. Um, I will... Uh, this is a one die block. This is also a one die block. This guy's block, that guy does not. Right, so I think I'll throw against him, um, since I've got Wrestle. I, I actually don't even know if I would take Wrestle here. I think I would, I think I would. Alright, so here we go. Bodyguard, one die block on the uh, lineman. Alright. Uh, sure, I'll Wrestle. Okay, down we go. Alright. That's one less hit you can throw on the next turn. Okay, there you go. That's my turn. And go ahead. Okay. 
I'm going to stand this dude up. Stand this dude up. This guy to here. Punch this guy. Okay. That's a blitzer, so. Yeah. Can follow. I will follow. Try to break. No break. I don't necessarily want to send like all my blitzers down there for like. Because I, I to attempt to like run this guy down, right? But. It's like if I break past you. Yeah. So I think I'm just going to move this dude here. To sit on that dude. I will blitz. So I'm going to go one, two. Okay. He gave his life. Yeah. Into the crowd. So this is automatic this injury? This is just straight up injury, yeah. The crowd, the crowd is tearing him to shreds. The crowd tore dead. him to shreds. He's dead. Out for the rest of the game. So that's one, two. The crowd tore him to shreds. Three... Four, five. The question is what I want to do. Just put like tackle zones on you. I don't really want to push it. Yeah, the fans, the fans tore that, tore that player to shreds. I'm just gonna go here, and then this guy's gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Six to there. That's it. All right, it's my turn for Mertani personally murdered. Yeah, that blitzer or retainer. Okay, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, uh, six to here. Uh, we'll move this guy before I roll dice. One, two, three, four, five, six to there. Retainer will hit the blitzer. Two dice. Those double skulls. Oh, he's just dead. He's dead. Oh, okay. Oh baby. Blah, blah, blah. oh baby, let's go. Blah, blah, blah. Here's the double skull. If you want to see it? Eight. That'll break armor. That does break. Yeah. Stunts. All right. I gotta okay. tell you, my dice were like on stream, not particularly. Problem is, you were off camera. Yeah. All right, time to smash this dude. Double skulls. Is, yeah, I think that's probably that's too that's too free. Do that. We'll smash. Okay. No dodge. No dodge. Let's go. Here. I'll follow. Eight. Nine plus armor. Nine plus. Okay. Ball scatters to six. To the lineman. The lineman. That's a bouncing. Uh, it's minus one, so you're at a four. He's got it. Okay. I don't know that I really wanted this lineman to get it, but it's fine. All right. Let us protect the lineman. Let's smash this guy. Okay. Go there. Retainer has fend. That'll break. Broke. Stunned. That. 
I haven't blitzed yet, what the heck? I'll blitz. One, two, one assist. It's gonna go there. It's Stanford. Oh, okay. That'll break. That'll break. Stunt. Okay. Two, three, four. I think this guy just gets in position. One, two, three. That's it. All right, my turn. Five. Uh, Alright, I have three models I can move. The <laughs> bodyguard's gonna stand up. I'll blitz the orc on one. Uh, sorry, four. We'll throw him that way. That will not break. Orc 10, 10 plus. 10 plus armor. Um, so that was four. Five. Six, seven, um, and then this blitzer will stand up and offer himself to beat a double skull target. All these stunned models flip over, and it is your turn. Okay. Yeah, this is going really fast. <laughs> it's really it's it's kind of funny. Yeah. Okay. It's seven. So. It is sevens. All right, so ball guy. Ball guy. That guy's got stand firm, which is sort of annoying. I think we should start punching. I think I've taken two complete turns. I'm not sure. All right, punching this guy. Okay. Okay. He's not stand firm. So. Oh, he's not stand firm. No. Okay, great. But he is not fend either. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I will not fall. He's just blocked. He's nine plus armor, so that'll break. He's stunned. Okay. There. There. Blitz. One, two. Is that they does a block? It does have They'll yeah. dink off each other. So is he gonna boof anymore? Oh, uh, he's done. Okay. One, two, three, four. I'll just go there. Then do I go for the touchdown? I feel like you take the chance. Uh, and you, don't maybe, re, you don't have re-rolls, yeah, so maybe if you not. fail to hand off... It is like really hard for you to get to me. I do have one more turn, so... Yeah, but if you fail to hand off, you do not get your touchdown. That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that just, no, the ball just drops. There's no re-rolls, yeah, so... One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Or you have five. It's like really hard for you to get a hit on me, so... Maybe this goes. I'll just go there. So he's done. This guy. So what's, this guy could jump up and do and like dodge and hit. This guy could jump up and dodge. No, they don't have the skill to jump up. Or they could get up and yeah. dodge out, do some stuff. This guy could do the same. Maybe I just make it so you have to like cancel a tackle zone. Okay, I'm done. Okay, my turn six. Um, the only way I score is if I uh, bomb it to this dude. <laughs> Somehow catches it, and he makes uh, a million dodges. Yeah, he could blitz. Oh yeah. All right, well, we'll stand the retainer up. We'll stand 
this retainer up. The funny thing is the bodyguards are really bad at throwing. Alright, I'll go for the blitz. Uh, dodge it there, looking for a three. You're kidding me. <laughs> Dude, I... Okay, break his armor. Okay, Stop. he's stunned. Alright, it's your turn. I'll score. Okay. You take the points. And that's the end of the half. There you go. First half. Okay, I guess I'll set up to kick to you. I get my extra retainer, so I'm glad I took an extra person. Um, I'm going roll back. Alright, so. Okay. Prop fine. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll dump it on this guy's head. Okay. D8, D6. Uh, two to the six. That's out. Place it on whoever you want. And kickoff four is perfect defense. Sorry, solid defense. Used, this used to be called perfect defense. Um, so D3 plus one of my players get to move. Um, so I can move two players. You so, get to like actually, uh, are you just swap them uh, around? Yeah, it, you have to follow all of the setup rules. Okay, but you can you can move them around. Um, these guys. Are. Okay, so your turn. turn one. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to just advance my stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know if I even bother with like a blitz. One, two, three, four, five, six. I would have to push it a blitz too. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, all blitz. One, two, three, four, five, six. Push to blitz. Two plus. That's a okay. one. Uh, we'll just fall over. Okay. It's probably fine. It's fine. All right, my turn one. All right. I am gonna move. Um. The retainer one, two, three to here. I will blitz one, two, three, hit the lineman on four. That's a lineman, right? Now. Yeah. Okay. Push. Should be that way. Four. Four. Five, six. Move the retainer to there. Move the blitzer to there. Yeah, now we've got a now we got a proper scrum. Hell yeah. What's up, Bill? Bill. Thanks for that tier two. Forty eight months. Tell me you play a Blood Bowl, Bill. Bill would love Blood Bowl.
So, oh, Fudger, I don't know if I answered your question from like way earlier, but how you asked how affordable Blood Bowl, Blood Bowl is, and the answer is extremely affordable. Yeah, it's, it's like insane. fifty dollars for a team. Yeah. Uh, since I work in a local gaming store, uh, I won't tell you about all of the different methods using three D printers to generate <laughs> teams. I'm yeah. not going to tell you about that. Uh, because I would prefer that you buy it from your local gaming store. There's also a Blood Bowl video games coming out next month. Yeah, um, that's a good way to get get a nice fill of the game. Yeah. There's also the old versions of Blood Bowl. Which I played the crap out of the original two video games. And Blood Bowl three is the one that's coming out. It has the newer rules, but Blood Bowl two has the last edition of the rules. All right. I uh, I guess I'm gonna move the bodyguard. Yeah, we played Blood Bowl two, before. Three, it was a video four, game. Five, I'll have six. you know. We're old school. Blood Bowl hipsters. Up. One, two, three. Move under there. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. An old version of Blood Bowl physical, not digital game. Yeah. I, then you can I, repurpose a lot of that stuff too. I think I've got the like. I think I have like the second edition box, the one from the '90s. Like I think I have that. Yeah. Somewhere. I think I, I had it. I may too. have thrown it away, but like I had it for a long time. Get a TTR league going. That'd, yeah, that'd yeah be, we could definitely that'd be do that. Cool. That'd yeah, be that'd be cool. cool. I'm excited for the game. So all they have to do with three is just make it Blood Bowl. <laughs> yeah, that's what they did. So. So. That's all you really got to do. How greedy is it to like go hit this dude? I just want to punch guys. I know. I just want to punch them. I know. You played into this uh, my my greatest weakness. How many one die blocks is uh the old oven mitt? Yeah. Well, oh, the yeah. old Skaven also had the sweet uh, mutation models too, right? So the thing about sevens is that uh, it's as soon as you want to start having assists with every block that you throw, you run out of people really quickly. Exactly, yeah. You're just done. You just run out of people. Because like, I can go over here and get an assist on this thing. All the other things in over here are really hard to get assists on. I'm thinking about throwing a block, one die block here. Also, walking this guy over here to hit this dude is, is a reasonable play. Um, and then I can like, blitz with my guy with the ball. I think I kind of like that. So I'll do one, two. I'm gonna punch yep. this man. Yep. Actually, where was I? No, no, no. I'm gonna go one, two to here. Then I'll punch this man. Okay. Just wrestle stand firm. I'll stand firm. He's fine. Two, four, five. Is that even worth? Or you go like flat. But that's only one die. Because the other block. Kind of trash. Um, we'll stand this guy up. Kind of trash. I'll blitz. One. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Two dice. I don't have block. Okay. Smack. Not a break. Knock out. Five. Six. Move that guy there. Throw one die block here. Okay. Smack him. Broke. Break. Seven. This guy. I think he's fine just getting punched. He's done. Throw you guys your choice. Favorite factions? I have I have basically played orcs uh, my whole life. <laughs> so um, or this is like my original orc team. That was pretty much... I, I've definitely played like 20 times more games with Orcs than anything else. 
Yeah, that's probably accurate. Yeah. Uh, so I've played a lot of teams, and um, it w- I would be hard pressed to say my favorite. So I am an orc. I've become orc. Uh, okay. I'll uh, I'll go through all my team history in a second. Um, <laughs> once I go through my turn. Uh, okay. So I'll throw the two die here. Sure. Put it back that way. I will follow. How do you guys like the uh, ball thing? How do you guys like the painted bases that are bright colors? Easily distinguishable from Nathan's team? One, two, three to there. Uh, I like Skate when I played him last week. I'm excited to play the Lizard Men, though. I'll hit the Blitzer with my Blitzer. I'll shove, I suppose. There. I guess I gotta follow. So they're not square bases. Yeah, you don't do square bases in Blood Bowl usually. Um, Alright, I whatever will reason. blitz. One, two, three, four. I'll blitz on five. I'll shove to there. I five. I guess I'm not gonna follow. I thought about putting a vampire's team in this, but I think we wanted to like get a spectrum of the types yeah. of teams, and I, the vampires are just like too goofy. All right, I guess I'll stand this guy. Uh, and it is your turn. I will unstun. My turn three. They're the Seraphon now in the age of uh, Sigmar. All right, move this guy here. The the good guys, yeah, yeah. The um, so I played uh, the very first team I ever played was High Elves, and so I played High Elves for a season, and this was actual twenty years ago. 23 years ago is when I played High Elves. It's like in high school. Um, and uh, I really enjoyed High Elves. I had a lot of fun playing an elf team. Um, after that... I'm going to move him here, actually. After that, I played... Uh, um, Shambling Undead. Uh, I really enjoy Shambling Undead, Pro- and likely over my lifetime career of, of like teams that I've played 20 or more games in, I think my win record with Shambling Undead is really, really good. Um, the, uh, so I really enjoy Shambling Undead, just mummies are a lot of fun to hit people with, and then you know ghouls and whites are pretty good at moving the ball around. And then you got a bunch of disposable minions. Uh, I played Chaos for... Uh, several leagues as well. Um, I wanted to play like a team that was like really bashy um, and Chaos can develop into one of the most bashy teams that exists. In this guy. Okay. Oh, there roll. it is. There's I, 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 now, I convinced you can actually roll it now. Okay. All right. I, I, I was going to say, if we go like three weeks and I roll double skulls in every game of sevens, you never do. Um... No break. Okay. All right. Yeah, you, and you can't break armor all the time either. That's good to see. <laughs> um, all right, I'm going to blitz with my guy with the ball. So one. Yeah. Push. So um, one, two. Total war. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. It's trash. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's scary. Um, and then uh, I played a human team in a league in like a twenty seven in twenty seventeen. I think it was maybe twenty eighteen. After the twenty sixteen launch of Blood Bowl, I played humans then. Um, and uh, had a blast with humans. Wasn't expecting to, um, but. Uh, really enjoyed just the ability to score that humans have. Um, okay. 
One, yeah. two, three, four. The, the, five, like six. Warhammer is prohibitively expensive, uh, expensive to like say a high school student or something like that, right? Unless your parents are uh, crypto billionaires or something at this point. Um, Hit this guy. Okay. Stand firm. Hit him again. Okay. Dude. Nothing. All right, it's so my turn. Okay. All right, turn three. Um, three, four, five, six. I'm in the game. <laughs> All right, I'll stand up the retainer. Blood Bowl is certainly in the most affordable Games Workshop game. Yeah, by a wide by margin. By a lot. By a wide margin. One, two, three, four. All right, we are going to blitz. It's also just a ton of work to put together a 40k army, right? Uh, one, two, three, blitz the ball carrier on four. Uh, one die. One die, okay. Push. Uh, all right, I'll push it back. Uh, does he follow into the lion's den? That's quite. That's quite a thing. Oh, we can get the uh, um, the action can. Yeah, sure. We'll follow into the lion's den. He's a bodyguard. That's what he's there for. The action cam. Are you guys throwing up yet? <laughs> You love the action cam. <laughs> you love when Nathan shakes the table with his elbows. And all deep, times. In, deep in concentration. Um, <laughs> all right. So um, one last. I don't really want you to get. I don't want to. I don't want you to get players behind me necessarily. So. Um, I guess I gotta. I think I gotta tie up this work. All right. Okay, and then I got this guy back here. He successfully tied up two orcs last turn, so he'll just sit there. So bodyguard will sit there. Go ahead. Okay. We'll get some help to him at some point. Uh, and then, uh, after I played humans, I played dwarves, and I felt like, where was this team my whole life? Um, the dwarves spoke to you? Yeah. The, I, I played a dwarf team in a league, I think I had like one loss in the season. Um, uh, crushed most of my opponents 2-1. I had an absolutely insane team by the end of the season. Um, uh, the thing about dwarves, you just grind it out. It's just so fun. Hit this guy. Okay. This is the, most, this is the dumbest first turn move, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Stand firm. Stand That's fine. firm. I'm not mad. It's fine. Yeah, I remember getting in a wreck in a high school and thinking of the damage that I did to my car that I would have to pay in terms of Warhammer 40k models. Right? Where I was just like, oh my god, I did X hundred dollars. That's like, that's how many, it's like I took it's like I took, you know, five land raiders and stapled them to the front of my car and smashed them. <laughs> okay. Really put me in a pickle here. The scrum is intense. <laughs> Let's take a quick look scrum, on the action cam. Scrum intensifying. Scrum cam. Scrum cam. Not to be confused with the... Well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribers only cam. Subscribers only cam. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I locally at the store, um, there's a dude who's he's been uh printing up a bunch of teams. Um, 
And they look they look pretty good, right? Right? Like 3D printing technology has come a long way. So um but the thing is is like the teams are like fifty bucks, right? And if you're an instant gratification person, um you can just go uh hit them, so you just go you just go you can go pick them up or whatever. I'm punching this guy. Okay. It's also the wrong move. Alright, it's fine. I'll stand for him. He's fine. All blocks are bad. Okay. Does this guy stand firm? Yes. Stand firm, Russell. That's why he's in the mil that's why he's in the scrum. I'm thinking about so I'm playing nobility in the current season. I'd never played him before. I really like nobility. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun. If you don't, if you can't tell, I enjoy playing Blood Bowl. I enjoy teams. I enjoy different strategies. Right? I've, I've played a healthy mix of bashing and a healthy mix of uh, agility teams over my career. So the thing about nobility is that nobility has a bunch of skills that are really annoying for veteran Blood Bowl players. Right? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna dodge. This ooh, is my blitz. Ooh. Down it goes. <laughs> We're dead. We've made a huge mistake. <laughs> it can happen. All right. His armor is not broken. The ball is scattering to the five, scattering between the orbs. Oh, there you go. Big, <laughs> big old mess. Well, there you go. Turn four. Big old mess of orcs there. Okay. I guess we're going to stand this bodyguard up. Now, it's possible I actually needed him to blitz. Um, uh, because some stuff could, could maybe go my way. Okay, this retainer is going to hit this, um, uh, blitzer. All right, throw the blitzer this way. Oh, we got some broken orc armor. Ugh. I'll stun. I'll take a stun. Yeah. I'll take a stun. Can't believe I broke orc armor. All right. One, two, three to there. He is going to hit the lineman. Um, he's got two dice. We'll shove the lineman onto the ball, and he is not—he is not going to follow. Okay. All right. Ball. But the ball scatters. Yeah. To eight. Eight is to right there. All right. Okay. I guess this will be the blitz here. He's going to blitz the um, blitzer on one. A shove. We'll shove the blitzer this way. I think that's fine. Shove the blitzer that way. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to there. Uh, facing the right way now. And then the blitzer is going to hit your lineman. All right, we'll throw the lineman. Do I actually want to throw the lineman? Yeah, I'll throw the lineman on the ball. Um, now, the question is, do I follow? Um, yeah, sure, I'll follow. We'll get in there. Okay, so uh, we try to break armor first. No, he's fine. The ball scatters. Seven scatters into my tackle zone. Jeez. All right. What a turn of events. Yeah. That's all. Dramatic guys. turn of events. Go ahead. Try and tie this game up. I know. I know. How dare I? It, I, it, it would be so hard to come back from a two goal or two yeah. touchdown deficit. I managed, to, I managed to lose a two de touchdown deficit in a practice game. We had skills. We were mm -hmm. practicing for a tournament, so we had a package of skills. Um. Okay. 
I got a bunch of stupid bodyguard. <laughs> Actually, let me send this guy up first. Okay. Just in case things go wrong. I don't think he's going to be blitzing. The, the thing about the bodyguards are... Your opponent is like, all right, I'm going to hit... The, the, the first time they're going to throw a hit against the bodyguard, they're like, why did I throw that block? You want to wrestle? Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll wrestle. Yeah. If I if I'm blitzing and you wrestle, I can't stand back up. Uh, yeah, I believe it ends your. I think we talked about that last. I think week. It, when you're knocked down, that just ends your activation. So. Okay. <laughs> Three. Pile of bodies. Actually, um, I want to go there. I should go like here. Make it a little harder. That's a one die block. Or one die block. And a dodge. That's one die. Three, four, five, one die. We'll do it. Blitzing. Okay. Three, four, dodging. Three plus. No problem. Five. Hit, hit on six. six. Okay. On one die. Push. Hit this dude. Okay. Push. Follow. And this guy. Make you roll double skulls, I guess. So I'm done. Alright, that's turn five. <clears throat> uh, okay, I guess we'll start with some two die blocks. Throw the two die block there. Splash. All right, throw you there. The retainer will not follow because it will tax a movement on. Oh yeah, mm. break that orc armor. That's stun. That's fine. It's fine. Here, if you're down a player, that's he's gone for the rest of the game too, right? So he oh. just face down. Yeah. He says uh, that uh, uh, we didn't mention it last week, and I don't know if I told you about this, but there is a rule. Where you can hurdle downed players now. I did not know that. Yes, it's very important. Okay. It, it exists. It's risky as hell. It's basically like leap, but you can't leap. It's like you can only leap to the squares that you could like push them into from blocking, if that makes sense. Yeah, right. So you can only leap into like the three ones on the opposite side of you. It's a, an agility check at like minus one. Okay. And it's minus one for any tackle zones that you might... Including the one from the down player? Not... The down player doesn't have a tackle zone. Right, but like but if I was if here I, to here... Or if here I was trying to, to there, jump right. from here to here, I get minus two. It's tackle zones from where you're leaving and tackle zones from where you're landing. I see. Okay. Um, but you couldn't have like a three players down in a row like this. You could, you could jump over them. And, uh, and not have to use like a bunch of movement. To go that's around. cool. Um, it ex so I did leap not know that at all. Has changed because leap is nerfed. Leap used to ignore tackle zones. Um, oh yeah, so so is leap tackle zones from where you land now? Tackle zones, yeah, from where you take off and, and where land. You land. Okay, um, yeah. but it's an agility check with a plus one. Okay, pogo stick ignores tackle zones. So like the goblin has the pogo stick, and the slan team. Um, uh, all their frogs have pogo sticks. So. I see. Okay. Um, 
So I, I brought that up because I was like, the only re- reason his body, his down body would matter was because I might over. have to like jump over yeah. or you could jump over right, or something right. like that. So um, it, it is, it's a rule that exists. Uh, I have yet to play a game where it made sense to do it, but it, it, it is a thing. It is the, a thing. The board is more compressed here, right? It's, yeah. it's more likely it's to It's more be. likely to occur in sevens. Because like so. when I played this, uh, I played a sevens tournament this past weekend. And the, every time I, every time there was a body in the way, I was like, do I jump this guy? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now that I don't have that option, I'm going to do it all the time. Yeah. Well, it works. <laughs> I don't think they finalized the Slan team yet, right? The Slan is a... Um, team of Legend? The yeah. Team of legend? It's, it was a, it's like a there's an unofficial Slan team that exists. Um, that's out there. Uh, we we are allowing it in our league because th- I don't think this land team is like particularly broken. I'd love for them to go back and revisit it because um, I think it's a cool team. It's like a insanely high skill cap team. Like it might be one of the highest skill cap. I remember our old roommate Paul played them when we did a league, yeah. whatever, twenty years ago, and uh, they were insane. Yeah, they do have the best with the current rules. They have the best player for interceptions. Because uh, uh, very long legs gives you plus two to interference. You remember how I told you, just, you like smack it down. Uh, interference was a minus three. Yeah. So it's two plus agility. So he interferes on a three, three plus. plus. Ah, that's insane. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Now that story time's over. Um, he's gonna hit there. It's business time. It's business time. <laughs> okay. All right. You ain't scoring, I guess. All right. Broken. Break. Stunned. Okay. My turn six. All right. Well, I feel like do- rolling double skulls in the ten total blocks that I've rolled this game is not very likely, but I have to get all. So uh, all the uh, all the bad luck happens on stream when I'm playing at the store, crushing people. I can't score this drink there. Dag. I guess just start smashing. The old end of game smashing. <laughs> Garbage time casualties. Um, so move this guy here. I'll smash this dude into the crowd. Yep. Yep. He's gone. Let's see what happens to him. It's torn to shreds. He's dead. Uh, okay. We're gonna smash this guy. Offend. Three, four, five, Oof. six. Let's step three, four, five. Stand firm. No break. I'm done. Okay, my turn six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Push, push. Can't quite get there. Uh, I don't have a way to engineer a push. Um. Or you could like push that guy. Yeah, I see. To get him one square qu- closer. Um, Alright, we'll just hit a random work. One, two, three, four, five. This guy's gonna stand up. Three, four, hit him on six. I'll throw this work down. We'll see if we'll break his armor. It's broken! No. He's dead. Casual, actual dead. Boxcar's death. Uh, okay, well that felt. Uh, I'll go to try to pick up the ball just so I have the ball in my possession at the end of the game. Uh, he's looking for a four plus. No. Okay. By the way, we're not uh, carrying over casualties. Yeah, we're doing games, a, we're doing way. resurrection stuff between yeah. games, so uh, no team's going to be like permanently um, maimed. That is the game. Orcs right. win one to nothing. One to nothing on the back of double double skulls. Easy. It's just it's how you do it. I'm seeing double. Just Four have a reroll. Skulls. All right, let's go to challenge here. Oh, I'm gonna start the tournament.
Forks. One. Eat the rich. To nothing. Boom. All right, so now we are going to do a random skill. Yeah. All right, so I've got a D8. Uh, I'll just line my players up by a number. Okay. Um, they're, they're numbered for a, an 11s team. Uh, all right, so D8. So this is one, this is eight. Uh, five. One, two, three, four, five. Great. A random retainer is going to get a random skill. Random general skill. Let me go, i got to pull up the, uh, the random get chart the table. Get that table. I'm going to do the team's command so we can see them teams. Okay, all right, so 2d6. Um, so uh, this, uh, this random lineman a retainer is going to get um, a general skill. So the first d6 is the first, uh, tells you which half. So the um, so second half... This is the pro shadow and strip ball sure hands tackle wrestle. Oh, so it's some, ju some juicy stuff in there. Um, all right, and then um, four is sure hands. Ooh, which one is it? What number? Number nine has sure hands. Pippin? Sorry, uh, uh, yeah, I guess it's actually technically Sam. Sam, Sam has sure hands. Yeah. All right, Sam has sure hands. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Sure hands on the retainer. That's pretty agility good. four up. Actually, it's it's like a better chance to pick up the ball than the agility three up people. So. Yeah, because double fours. Yeah. Okay. Then boys, this time we'll send. Um, all right. So d eight, seven. This blitzer number okay. seven. So roll a d six. Uh, do you want to give them general or strength? The general's like. General is block, dauntless, dirty player, fend, frenzy, kick, pro, shadowing, strip, ball, sure hands, tackle, wrestle. Strength is armbar. Armbar is mighty blow if someone fails a dodge away from you. Mm. Um, armbar brawler. Brawler is when you throw a block and you roll. You can re-roll one both down result um, on a block. Okay. Uh, break tackle. Break tackle has changed. Break tackle. Um, Used to add your strength or whatever. You right. use your strength instead of agility. Instead of agility, yeah. So, but now since they changed the the way the dice rolls, if you have if you have four strength or less, you get plus one to dodge rolls. If you have five strength or more, you get plus two to agility checks to make dodges. Okay, so it doesn't really do anything. Um, grab, um, grab lets you choose where you push them, and you don't have to push them directly behind you. The right. Three. Uh, guard means you always have an assist. Juggernaut means you can treat a both down result on a blitz as a push, and it also lets you ignore uh, wrestle, uh, stand firm, and one last skill that I forget okay. um, on a blitz. Is blodge the best combo? Oh yeah, the blodge is really good. Yeah. For sure. Um, I can't. I can't roll on the agility though, right? You cannot. No, yeah. it, you can't. I think it. I'm gonna end up wanting to roll on uh, the, the mighty blow. Mighty blow is great. Multiple block. Multiple block is not going to be good on this guy. Pile driver. So pile driver <laughs> is uh, piling on. Okay. Um, but so piling on used to be you would knock yourself over and reroll the armor check. The way piling on works now, or pile driver works, is when you knock down a player, um, you can knock your player prone to get a foul action on them. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's hilarious. So, yeah. That's awesome. Thematically, it's way funnier and cooler. Yeah. Uh, uh, the way it functions in the game, it's way worse mm -hmm. because you have a chance to get sent off. Um, but it stand, is cool. Uh, stand firm. Yeah. Strong arm. Um, and I'll have to go read strong arm because I think is it has that a passing to, skill. It is a strength skill, but I think it has to do with throwing teammates. Right. Okay. Um, and then thick skull. All right. I think I'm gonna do general then. Okay. Yeah. It's, uh, strong. There's arm. there's too many blanks in that in that strength tree. Uh, strong arm is this player may apply a plus one modifier to any passing ability test when they make a throw teammate action. Um, if you don't have throw teammate, you cannot gain the okay, skill, okay. so you would re-roll. So. I'm still going to do general. Okay, all right, go ahead and general. Is that d6? d6 first. Four. All right, so, um, and then another d6. Three. Three is strip ball, which Ooh, is good. Ooh, that so, is really good. Um, yeah. Trip ball is really good. It's a good thing I got this sure hands retainer. That well, they don't have to play each other again, from. so. So. Not until maybe the playoffs. We'll see.
All right, strip ball on Uzguk. Yeah, there you go. That's so, cool. All right, great. Some exciting level ups for these teams. Uh, they'll be, uh, they'll be pretty interesting to play them again. So. Yeah. That was uh, fun. That was, that was an hour, right? Yeah, it was like an hour. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Crick. Awesome. Uh, Very cool. So there you go. Uh, we'll be back next week with uh, most likely some more Blood Bowl. No, next week is Whittles versus Lizardmen. Uh, I got the yeah. Lizardmen done, and I'm going to probably do the, the Whittles this week. Yeah. yeah it's so funny because uh, the, the Whittles lineup that we did um, has seven players, no frills, not even four positionals because you don't have enough money for positionals if you buy War Dancers, the best model in the game. So Hands down. Best model. Yeah. And block course, dodge leap. The leap actually dude, so the leap changes actually matter for the yeah, oh yeah for sure. They're way um, they're worse. They're still incredibly good. They're still block dodge leap. Leap is still Eight fine. Speed, three uh, strength, four agility. The or stupid two plus agility. The stupid war dancer model has like the front of their foot is the only thing touching the base. I and know. it was so annoying to glue it. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I was mad. I was so mad. I had to like I was trying to like hold it there for long enough to where the thing would dry, and I'd be like, "Okay, it's truly it's dry now." I like lift up, and then it just fall over. <laughs> yeah. So cool. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. This Appreciate is a lot of fun hanging out tonight. Hope yeah. you are all enjoying the Blood Bowl streams. There. Yeah. I, I feel like they're probably a good viewer experience. Yeah. I, I, I well, hope. the action is moving. Right? The things yeah. are happening. Yeah. yeah. It's it's engaging gameplay. Uh, I was actually I was surprised that game. Um, the last two turns. I mean, the double skulls hurt you. Really I, bad, I, so. I I lost two turns to double. Yeah, skulls, that's so. that's just really bad. So. Yeah. But last week it was like it was like how does it didn't make a three plus dodge more action is... cam? Okay, we'll we'll try to implement action cam more next week. All right, I just don't like that it's all shaky, right? Yeah, that's uh, that's because I'm like I'm like it. deep in concentration with my elbow on the table. You can see <laughs> my elbow creeping into the shot, and you're dangerously close to be able to see my paint jobs. Yeah. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching. Everybody. We'll be back with uh, Sunday Keyforge. I don't know where we're doing yet, but we'll be playing Keyforge. Probably so. a gauntlet of some sort, maybe. Probably do a gauntlet, maybe with the viewer G one winner, so. perhaps. Go cam on the zip line. I mean, it's got like a, it's got like a swivel. We got some swivel action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's too bad we can't do the NFL thing where you where you zoom in. We from... buy a mini drone. Yeah. Everyone have a great rest of the week. Yeah. I'll see you Sunday. Goodbye.